You ever asked God this question? God, what am I supposed to do with my life? Today, we're gonna to talk about it. So join me across the table. So in 2011, I graduated from West Carter High School and then I made my next move to Eastern Kentucky University. I had big plans, I had big ideas for what I was gonna do. Actually, I still don't even understand why, but I set out to be a physical therapist whenever I first went to college. If you've ever been to college, and if you have graduated, you are probably like me and your major has changed a ton. From there, I thought, you know what? I don't really wanna do physical therapy. I think I wanna become a doctor. So I had this big dream, so I was gonna to go to medical school and I actually pursued this for two years. And then I went to a summer internship program where I actually got to follow um, and, and just kind of shadow a bunch of doctors and just kind of see what their life was really like. And what I really learned was that I do not want to be a doctor. And it was really that summer I found one of my greatest passions, that is teaching. And so it was a really quick fix. I said, went to, the, uh, went to my advisor and said, I don't want to be a doctor, I want to be a teacher. And I want to teach biology. And so for the next two years, I ended up going into my, or switching my major to biology teaching. I actually stuck with that one and ended up graduating in 2015 with a bachelor's of science with an emphasis on biology teaching. Now, luckily I was fortunate enough just a few months later to actually land a job back at my alma mater. But with that job also came one more position girls basketball coach. And then also at the same time, there was a church that, that uh, my parent or my dad was preaching at that he said, hey, son, would you like to be the youth pastor? So no joke, I graduate college with a bachelor's um, in biology. And then I end up becoming a high school girls basketball coach and a youth pastor. Fast forward now five years and I'm now just a campus pastor for Better Life Church. What I'm trying to tell you today is that it is unreal to see how our own plans and how we are just really sought after figuring out what our calling is. We constantly ask God, what do you want me to do with my life? How can I serve you? God, you know, we have all these big plans and, and really we're looking for some security. We're looking for um, just for a future that's going to be enjoyable and lots of fun. And really just being able to do something that you love to do. And I was able to do that, but really God continued to call me or really open up doors for me to serve him in different ways over the course of five years. What I want to tell you today is that you may be looking for this great big calling on your life, but what I actually want to do is I want to change the wording because what I believe is that we all have a calling, but a calling isn't to a job. Our calling is to a person and that person's name is Jesus. We are called to love the Lord God with all of our hearts, body, and mind. We are called to love our neighbor as ourselves, and we are called to live on mission for him no matter what we do. That is the summation of our calling because what Jesus has done in our lives. What you are looking for right now is you are looking for your assignment. And what I'm telling you right now is that you are in it. Right now you are living one of the assignments that God has given you. It's just, can you perspective flip and change to where you live for today? You don't live for the future, but you live for today and you embrace the assignment that God has given you. Here's a couple of pieces of scripture that really irons this out. In Ephesians 4, there's one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope that belongs to your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who's over all and through all and in all. This is our calling. We are called to live a life to him and for him if we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. But then we flip the script now to where God has placed us and given us an assignment. And I want to just point to this piece of scripture, Proverbs 16, 1 through 3. To humans belong to the plan, to humans belong the plans of the heart, but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. All a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are waved by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Right now, God has an assignment right now in your life. He has given you an assignment, 
to fulfill the commission that he has given you. And really, it's not very complicated. Really, it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be this grand big scheme that you maybe think and dream of. It's just simply living for him daily, living for others daily, and just loving life and enjoying it. Right now, you may be boiler maker. You may be a widow. You may be a stay-at-home mom. You may just be a, a husband that's working, you know, miles and miles away from home. Right now, God has an assignment. He has placed you there for a purpose. Can you submit your plans and your days to Him? That is the assignment on your life. Our calling is not to that job. Our calling is to Jesus, and He makes right our days and makes right our plans if we are willing to submit to Him. So what does God have in store for your life? Live for Him every single day in the assignments that He has placed.